So we have everything chopped up here. We have our head of lettuce. We have our two tomatoes that we chopped here. Our one sweet onion. We have our sweet peppers right here. We have our cheese and our sour cream. Now we're just starting off with the chicken. Right now we have chicken tacos that we're going to make. We're just going to go ahead and get these cut up. We already got some right here. It's the last one. So right here, we just cut up our chicken breast into one or two inch pieces. We just have our spice mixes here. We have about a tablespoon of black pepper, um, two tablespoons of blackness seasoning. We have about two tablespoons of garlic powder, of a tablespoon of garlic and herb. We have two tablespoons of our five pepper seasoning, and we have a tablespoon of our Cajun seasoning. Gonna add our seasoning to our chicken breast. Uh, we just have about half inch pieces here. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it in. Make sure we wear our gloves just to be safe and make sure we keep our hands clean. Just want to mix it in thoroughly so that all the chicken has all of our spices on it. Now that we have our chicken here mixed thoroughly with our seasons, we're just going to go ahead and add it to the skillet and have it saute. So we just have our saucepan here on about a medium high heat. And we're just going to go ahead and add our extra virgin olive oil and then let it get hot. Just about a tablespoon there. So we're just going to go ahead and pour our chicken in here. Go ahead and stir it around. And once you see the chicken start turning a little white, that's when you go ahead and flip it. And it's starting to cook. And we go ahead and turn it on the other side. It's been about 10 minutes now. The chicken is almost done, as we can see here. Um, right now, we're just going to go ahead and add about half of our Cajun, I'm sorry, yeah, our Cajun mix that we have here. And then we're just going to go ahead and add a half a cup of water just to keep the chicken moist and to give it a little extra flavor. And then we're just going to add a lid and just let it simmer in the skillet. For about five more minutes in here just until the juice is evaporated a little bit more and the chicken is just thoroughly cooked so while we're waiting we're just going to go ahead and chop up our sweet peppers we have two tomatoes here one sweet onion and then we have our head of lettuce Right now, I'm just going ahead and breaking them up. Then, if I see any big pieces along the way, I'll just go ahead and dice them. But they're pretty fine. Alrighty. So right now, I just cut the heart of the lettuce out. We're gonna just go ahead and chop this up, and then we're gonna add it right here into the strainer so that we can get it all washed. Mm -hmm. 
So I just go I just went ahead and diced my lettuce up into little tiny pieces. Go ahead and rinse the lettuce here. Uh, you don't have to do too much. Just want to make sure that it's clean. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and shake this excess water off. And then we're just gonna let it sit here and strain for about two minutes. So we have everything chopped up here. We have our head of lettuce. We have our two tomatoes that we chopped here. Our one sweet onion. We have our sweet peppers right here. We have our cheese and our sour cream. And we're gonna go ahead and start toasting our soft tacos here. And then we're gonna put our hard tacos in the oven. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw these tacos in the oven on 350 for just a couple minutes. Um, it's optional, just if you like your tacos a little country, you can go ahead and put them in the oven. So we just have our skillet here on a high heat. We let it get hot. We're just gonna go ahead and to toast our fajitas here. And once it starts bubbling, that's when we'll know we need to flip them. So it's starting to bubble here. We've had it down here for about 15 seconds. And once you start to see the indications, you just go ahead and flip it. As you can see, it's brown a little bit and it's starting to bubble a little bit more. So it's been about 15 minutes. The chicken here is done. As you've all seen, we have everything chopped up. The tacos brown. We're going to go ahead and make you guys one. And you take a bite with us. Go ahead and add a couple of our sweet peppers on top. Um, any condiments that you want, really, we're just going to go ahead and add everything here. We're going to make a big taco. Add a few of our tomatoes, a few onions. If you don't like them raw, you can always go ahead and cook them. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead, add a little bit of our sour cream. I'm gonna add a little bit of our lettuce. We have our hard tacos here. We had them baking for about three minutes. They're nice and crunchy now. So we're gonna go ahead and make our hard taco. We're just gonna make it the same way. Let's add a little bit of chicken in here. So if you like sweet peppers just as much as me, I just went and cut them into about two inch pieces. But of course you can cut them any way you like. You can dice them small, big, however you like. If you're like me, you can go ahead and cut them like this and you'll get all the flavor. All right, so we couldn't decide if we wanted the chicken or shrimp tacos, so we just went along and did both. So right here, we just have about a half a pound of shrimp. We're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to it. That's about a half a teaspoon. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add the rest of our Cajun mix. All right. So we went ahead, added our oil in our Cajun mix, went ahead and seasoned it thoroughly and mixed it in. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add it to our skillet. So we're gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of our olive oil, extra virgin there. Let it heat up a little bit. Add our shrimps. And let it cook for about two minutes. Once it start turn, turning pink, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. And it'll be done in about two minutes. It only takes two seconds to do. Right. So it's almost ready. It's been cooking for about a minute. We're just going to go ahead and add a little bit more of our Cajun spice here. And mix it in. Now once this is all mixed through, it'll be done. our tomato, a few onions, we 
We have our sweet pepper here. Add a little bit of cheese here. And of course, all of this is optional, so whatever you want to put. Alright, so we have our chicken and shrimp tacos here. And if you're like me, I like my sweet peppers, so I put them here on the side. But if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and go ahead and share it. And go ahead and take a nice bite with me.